Carlos, yes. what's going on here? <laughs> so this is uh, the future of medical facilities for MSF, or at least this is what we, we want to achieve. The future of the future. all MSF medical no, facilities? Not all, but... Uh, Specifically, which ones? Uh, the most complex ones. You know, we are uh, increasing in volume and, and complexity in, in our uh, projects, and so we need facilities that are adapted to those uh, uh, challenges, and so we need um, to have a certain standard Standard in construction, infection control, comfort for the uh, for the patients, and um, and and the rapidity uh, to deploy and to, uh, to uh, construct. Okay, so before, as a logistician in the field, I'd put up a tent, mm -hmm. and then if I had some time, I'd get, not cut down some bamboo uh, and I'd do some plastic sheeting. plastic sheeting. And if I really had some time, then I'd, I'd build a brick wall and uh, I'd put a tin roof on. Uh -huh. Now, what do I do? So now this is a prefabricated and modular uh, solution, uh, which adapts to, uh, well, it's, it, uh, it has all of the MSF standards uh, on it, uh, in terms of spaces, uh, infection control, and, uh, and comfort. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's very easy to, to install, it's very rapid, rapidly deployable. Okay, it's easy to say that, and it's easy to produce a nice video of it, but have you actually done it? We did it. We did it in Doro, uh, in South Sudan. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually one of the worst places to do something like this because of Why? accessibility, um, the, the lack of materials, and there's, there's no, uh, there are no shops uh, around where you can buy a single screw. So you mm. go and you have to come with all of your supplies and with all of your uh, tools, uh, etc., to mount something that... Uh, uh, it's going to last at least uh, 10 years. This, this building has a 10-year uh, warranty and 30-year uh, maximum lifespan. So okay, so that's again unlike the tents, which is six months, one year maximum here. It's a much longer term view. And how quickly does this thing go up in Doro? So one of these modules, uh, every module, we, we call them basic modules. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, a 90 square meter building. And uh, you can put one up in, in a week with eight people and Un unskilled labor and one person who knows, one technician who knows how to, how to assemble it. Okay, understood. And I can see you've got some 360 goggles going on here. What's that all about? Is it just to show off the tool or is there, a, is there another reason behind this? Yeah, so we install a prototype in, in Brussels uh, to see how, how um, difficult or, or fast was the, the installation. And, um, and we filmed a video, a 360 video inside of the uh, of the building with a time-lapse camera and so you can actually see the, the whole construction, the, the construction process uh, in all its phases uh, in this uh, five minutes video. Did you upload that onto YouTube somewhere? Uh, it is in the MSF uh, site. You can find this video and another video which explains a little bit the concept. Um, but yeah, you can, you can watch it here or in the, in the internet. Okay, Dr. Bhargavi, the end of working in hot, smelly, dusty, sweaty tents, does this not excite you? Which sounds absolutely fantastic. And also, I think, as a doctor, if you're very familiar with the space layout within a, within a, a facility, I would think that that would reduce a fair amount of adverse event risks. You keep talking about infection control. Can you tell me a little bit about how this design has worked to reduce infections? Yeah, well, the idea is that... Uh you know, normally when you build in the field, sorry, when you build in the field, um, you don't have all the, the, the quality of the materials that you find there is not always the best, and the quality of, of the finishings of the building depends on the labor that you find in, in place. So what we do with this is to ensure that it's only one uh, solution for all of the facilities. It's, it's all aluminum. Uh, and it's, uh, it's washable, it's resistant to, to chlorine and to other chemicals we normally use in, the, in our medical facilities. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's uh, the whole um, uh, inside are uh, made of, out of the same material and uh, yeah, it's, just, it's just made for, for the hospital, actually. Fantastic. I think... Uh, it, it, it sounds fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm keen. Have you any photos of Doro that you can show us? I would like to see what it looks like actually in the field. So one of the advantages, uh, or, or the main advantage, I would say, like what it the, 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 the film, it makes it different from the other prefabricated buildings that we had in the past, is the, the flexibility of this one. 
So the concept is that you, you take this, uh, this is the basic model, for example. Uh, but you can take this one and you uh, connect yeah. two, three, four, up to six of those together. And you can have larger buildings. Like this is three of those basic models being built. What we did is we just uh, put in different um, separations, walls inside, doors or windows. You can actually exchange these uh, walls and doors and windows and create any uh, uh, facility that MSF uses in the field. So with one solution, with one building, you can create any uh, of the buildings that uh, we use. And so the, the main advantage, I would say, is that we standardize all medical facilities uh, into this, uh, using this uh, solution. So we have over there, we have a, a catalog with all of the uh, medical facilities that we use adapted to the solution. So for example, if you want, so this, is, this is the basic one. If you want to have, I don't know. So you could do a cholera treatment tent or, a, yes, or, a, or an infection. An infectious diseases tent all separately. Yeah. You well, could use it's, maternity. It's not a tent, really. It's oh, a, sorry, it's, a, it's a, a building. A, Apologies, a, you're right. I've, it's clearly been <laughs> ingrained <actually>. in me. <laughs> so, for example, this is four of these basic models, and you can have an OPD. This is this is this outpatient all, department. Outpatient department. All these buildings are, are uh, thought to, to be part of a hundred um, facility uh, hospital. Uh, an emergency department, for example, it's four of those models. And the idea is that with the same solution, you can have anything. We have the, the full set, so emergency departments, um, another emergency, depends on, on the scale, an operation theater. Carlos, this looks, this looks quite technical. I mean, as a loggy, I, I knew how to cut down bamboo and stick it up. That wasn't so hard. C could I do this? <laughs> if you have one technician, uh, with you, who is uh, specialized in the construction? Yes, I was in Doro. We put up this uh, this building there uh, with eight South Sudanese that never used um, a drilling machine before. We had to teach them how to do how to use the drilling machine first, and then we just taught them how to do it. And because it's a repetitive um, exercise, exercise uh, once you do it the first day then off you go. And the more buildings you make, the faster uh, it goes. So yeah, we, I, I was the, the, the one directing, eight people, and we got it done in three weeks. More. Fantastic. Okay, well, right. And where's next? You, so you've done it in South Sudan Doro, and where's next? Uh, we are building now uh, in Haiti. It's an OPD, it's over there. And we have an, old, um, an OPD, an outpatient department, and uh, we have an operation theater uh, going to Mauritania in July. Fantastic. Good luck. Thank you very much.